I'm gonna confess, I'm a little bit nervous about this. It smells mega, mega spicy. Hello fellow foodies, welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another food review. Now, I hope you guys are doing fantastic. So good to be back on another video. Thank you for all the support on the last video. We have got a spicy curry today. Now, I don't really normally do spicy curries at all, but it's about time I did something hot. Go away. I've got a few good things planned for maybe next week. We can get some really, really hot things for me to try, which will be really entertaining for you guys, but not for me. Fuck off! So, what have we got today? We've got a luxury Iceland curry, a spicy chicken Balti. Now, I don't actually mind a normal Balti, but this one's spicy, and yeah, it's free chilli ratings hot. Now, the luxury range in Iceland i found so far is absolutely amazing in terms of value for money and also flavour. They literally taste so, so good. Now, this one cost me £3.50. It's not really that new. It came out maybe like three, four weeks ago, let's be honest, but I thought I'd mix things up on the channel and get something spicy in here. Now, it's round about half past nine in the morning. Why is it so early? I like to get up so early anyway, and plus, I wanna really like try and grind out a few more reviews and give you guys a little bit more content. Now, that's enough of me waffling. I'm gonna stick this one in the microwave just simply because I actually don't mind them in the microwave. I had a luxury king prawn curry the other day uh, from Iceland. I actually put it in the microwave for just nine minutes and it tasted absolutely fine. So yeah, let's get this one in the microwave and I'll see you the other side. Welcome back ladies and gents, now 8 minutes and 30 seconds have passed by and the spicy chicken bolty is out of the microwave, just look at that, so colourful and honestly this kitchen smells like a right curry house, so many fragrant flavours and my mouth is actually watery. Let's get this to the table and let's give it a taste. I'm gonna confess, I'm a little bit nervous about this, it smells mega, mega spicy. Um, let me give you guys a little description before we get into the tasting. Spicy chicken balti, cooked seared tikka marinated chicken breast pieces in a spicy balti sauce. That was easy. Here we are ladies and gents, our curry is in front of me. I've just left it in the tray, to be fair, it was cooked in because it just saves me a dish, doesn't it? You know, I don't like doing so many dishes um, at the end of the day. It looks, it looks absolutely amazing it would be perfect with some rice but i'm not really doing an all-out meal i mean i've not had breakfast but i'm assuming this is just going to fill me up anyway calories wise 489 calories so reasonably healthy but you normally find that with curries anyway and like i said the luxury range is top top notch now let's dive in got a little bit of chicken right here and yeah look, that looks absolutely sensational now i'm gonna set myself a challenge i'm gonna try and eat this whole thing in the comments um write down have you tried this one uh what ones should i try i know i've not done the house special curry which is in iceland but just let me know what you think and um yeah put anything in the comments from the uh, iceland luxury range here we go here goes nothing Chicken is super juicy straight off the bat. Oh. Spice wise, it's not that hot yet. You can sort of feel it growing at the back of the throat. Oh. Already dropped some on the floor. Wow. That chicken is so juicy. And Bolty sort of reminds me of like a more of a tomato -y curry. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. This is absolutely gorgeous. 
I don't even know why I was worried that it was going to be so spicy. It's actually perfect. There's a little bit of heat at the back of the throat, but it's like a, it's warm, you know? It's not like agony, it's not like fire. Like I've always said in like a lot of my icing videos, um, the chicken, the actual chicken, the actual beef, the meat itself and their products are just absolutely ridiculous. I don't actually think I've had a bad meat product from Iceland. You can sort of taste lots of things in here. You can taste like coriander, cumin, um, tomato is a very, 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 um, very strong pronounced flavour coming through. You've got, you've got the chilies, cinnamon. Wow, I've got a big kick there. <clears throat> Jesus, that must have been a load of chilli. You know what, I'd be really, really happy um, if I had some rice with this. Ideally, I need to try something from an Indian or something like that, a uh, proper curry house. I have got a takeaway Indian nearby, so possibly very, very soon. I'm going to make an order and uh, we'll try one of their hottest curries. Um, just for that. How does that sound? I don't know why, but I've actually had a hotter bowl tea before. Um, you know those sort of like jarred curries you get? And you get like the sort of powder on top of the jar separate. There was a bowl tea from, I think it was either Aldi or Lidl. I actually had. And no joke, me and Shan literally struggled to eat it. It literally just took my breath away. Go away. To be honest with you, considering that I don't even like spice that much. Um, I expected this to be very, very spicy. Uh, for three chilli ratings, I don't think it's done it justice. It's not really hot at all. It's got a little bit of kick. And yeah, it's basically just very tomato-y. There we are, guys. The curry is there and polished off. Uh, literally half nine in the morning. A little bit of a weird time to have a spicy curry or spicy curry. But you know what? That was so full of flavour. My, my throat is actually burning now because I've had like majority of the sauce uh, towards the end of the curry but apart from that it's nothing overwhelming nothing absolutely ridiculous it's actually something I can handle and also something that I've really thoroughly enjoyed um, I have no issues with that that's a really tasty curry so for today I'm going to give this one a rating of simply 10 out of 10 Bolty is more of a um, tomato-y curry if, if you want to put it at that but what would you guys recommend me try uh, in terms of spice wise? I mean, I don't know if I've had a vindaloo before. I think, yeah, I've had a vindaloo. I've had a uh, fowl, yeah, I've had all sorts actually, but not from Iceland, I don't think. Next week, I'm planning on getting um, a actual ghost pepper pork scratching from Chili Wizards, so that'd be nice to try. And also, potentially soon, I'm going to order the uh, one chip challenge, so we can actually do that. Um, and test myself against the heat of the actual Packy One Chip Challenge. So I'm looking forward to that. I will order these products soon and we'll get them done on the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I um, hope you've enjoyed this review. Honestly, I continue to love and enjoy doing my reviews. Thank you so much for watching, supporting, commenting. You guys are absolutely fantastic. Um, it's goodbye from me. Goodbye from the curry. I think I might need a little bit of water. My throat is slightly on fire but nothing too crazy thank you very much for watching i'll see you tomorrow in the next review